All right, so we got the 2011 Z06 Carbon on the dyno. We're gonna do a couple of baseline runs, but of course, before we did this, we did full fluids. All right, so time to do the fluids on the Z06. As you hear, it's still got the stock exhaust with the stock exhaust valves. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull it over. Let's turn the air conditioner off. We're going to do the engine oil, trans, diff, brakes, and clutch. If you haven't seen these, check these out. This is the company right here. These make your life easier when you're taking off those wheels, those massive wheels. There isn't a lot of room around these calipers. The calipers are massive. And as you lift the wheels off, there's a good chance of you bouncing them and damaging your calipers or damaging your rotor. So check those out. Make life a little bit easier. So brakes are massive. These are the original brakes. I mean, look, I looked around them already, but the pads look like brand new. 6,000 miles, it doesn't have a lot of use on this car at all, but like, on all of the cars we say flush your brakes flush your clutch and do it often so i'm guessing these haven't been done since new i'm guessing um as you see these are the brembo brakes the ones that come on the carbon and the zero one you see right there these things are massive So first thing we're going to do is drain the oil. We just did a how-to video on the C7. If you look under this, it's almost identical. It looks very similar. Break these two bolts loose, do one at a time, and then the oil filter, drain the fluids, and then we can go ahead and refill. These are a 10 quart system. I think it's 10 and a half quarts. So back here, this is the bell house, and this is where your clutch is housed. The torque tube runs through here. The transmission is actually at the back right here this section is the transmission and if i remember rightly there isn't a separate drain you drain it through the sensor and then the fill is over here at this end this is the differential see how the axles come out right here um, drain on this um, drop this line right here and then the fill is kind of tucked in behind that line so you can see the massive amount of oil that comes out. So it was dark. It said percentage wise, I think it said something like 15%, which I would never go that long on oil personally, but I'm just overkill. But everything looks good. There's no sparkles on it. Everything is, is good. Just looks like old oil, but we'll know once we get uh, the uh, Blackstone results back. All right, so once you've got your sample put in there, fill in the information. It's already got the label on there. It tells you how to put it together, but we'll put this in the mail and I'll show you the results. Hopefully it comes back with a good report, but I'm gonna let you know either way, we'll find out. Okay, so I showed you in the first video of the hood, but look at this thing. This is probably one of the most beautiful hoods I think I've ever seen. I'm not just saying that. I've been dealing with carbon fiber hoods on Hondas for a long time. But this is like really, this is tier one quality right here. Uh, backstory, I was at the track with my ZR1 and I got to meet someone that was friends with the company that got the carbon fiber contract from GM. And it was an interesting story because they told me that they were so picky. The company sent three HUDs to them and they kept getting denied by GM. They said the quality, this, the V-weave, the fitment, something wasn't quite right. They kept kicking it back. And the last sample they sent, they said, okay, it's approved. And I guess there is different tiers of uh, supplier, but this is like beautiful. Look at that. Anyway, can't keep talking about that hood all day. This, <laughs> this is it. the oil supply. It really is. I talk about the hood for about another 15 minutes at least. So they recommend Mobile One. This is the weight that they're saying on here. Most of the Corvettes now have found out that the 040 works better. It has a little bit higher zinc content, has a little bit more protection. Uh, they often refer to it as European car formula. They use this in the Corvette everywhere else in the country. Uh, sorry, everywhere else in the world except here. But now the new ones are actually calling for 040.
I didn't film it before. This is the fluid out of the clutch reservoir. It's mixed a little bit of the brake fluid out of the brake reservoir. They're about the same color, but that's really what you got. I've already got the clutch bled out. That's what it looks like now. I've just done a, uh, I pumped the fluid out of there and refilled it, so it's got a little bit of a mix to it. We still have to bleed it through the actual lines. I haven't done that yet, but that's where we're at on the braking clutch. So this is something we see a lot. This car is a 2011, look at the tires. Tons of tread. Look, absolutely fantastic shape. Problem is, tires have dates. I don't remember what their date-wise is when you should get rid of them. I think it's five years. But if you look for this code right here, see this number 3610? That is week and year. So that's the, uh, the 36th week of 2010, which corresponds with when this car was made. This was a 2011 model, so these tires would have been manufactured obviously a few months before the car went on sale. So unfortunately, that's like a 10-year-old tire that's in perfect condition. And it sucks because it's going to be dangerous to use uh, puttering around town, it's not a big problem, but the rubber is no longer uh, got that, you know, rubber feel to it. It's almost hard. Uh, it would be dangerous to run at any kind of speed. So that sucks, but those tires are no good. Um, not going to replace them right away. I do have a set of track wheels and tires. I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, but for street, I'm probably going to change these tires to something fairly sticky. Uh, these tires, same size as the ZR1. Right here, the back one, 335, 25, 20. So there's plenty of tires available for this. So that's something in the future for these wheels. All right, fluid is fresh. Brake fluid, clutch, talking the wheels right now. Don't forget, always talk your wheels. Don't use an impact to put them on. So everything is fresh. Engine oil, trance, and diff. We'll run it up down the street, make sure everything is happy. And then time to put it on the dyno. All right, so a C6, Z06, before you put it on the dyno, you want to pull the fuse so it opens the exhaust valves all the way. So if you look down here, it is actually labeled, it is called exhaust MDL, and it's the 10 amp fuse. It's that one right there on the bottom right. So GM know you're gonna pull the fuse, so they give you a handy fuse puller right here. And this is so all the cool kids can save money on an exhaust. So this is the stock exhaust, obviously with the fuse pulled. Everything else is completely stock, stock cats, stock X-pipe, stock mufflers. So I'll give you an idea, that's the kind of sound you're gonna get if you pull that fuse. Super easy, cheap mod, a lot of people do it. And of course, it's gonna give you a better, uh, better dyno graph. It usually has a jump right at about 3,200 RPMs where the valves open, so you have a low spot, then it kicks up. So we're gonna let it get up to temperature. We'll let it get to, you know, 180, 190, somewhere on there. Make sure it's happy, then we'll open the hood. Uh, give you an idea, I bought two C6 Z06s. My first one did 450 to the wheels, bone stock. It had 1,500 miles on it. My second one did 458, and that was on a dyno jet. So it's gonna be an interesting comparison. We'll see what this one does. All right, 194. So traction control off the middle button, the little dicky one there. Uh, traction control off. There you go. We're good. It's in sport mode. So there we go. Fourth gear. Let's see what she does. All right. So 467, 441. That is the highest Z06 C6 that I've had on my dyno or dynoed. So that tells me this one is pretty healthy and I'm thinking it's because of that X-pipe. To be honest, if you put the ZR1 X-pipe on a Z06, they pick up about 15 horsepower right off the get-go. So there isn't anything really special, anything changed. It just has the better X-pipe without that second set of cats. You see that? Just like we showed you, doing the fluid changes. That's all it is right there. 
go into the stock mufflers. Engine of stock still has the stock intake on it. The filter is probably pretty clean at 6,400 miles. There's not a whole lot going on. And throttle body, same thing, everything's stock. All right, this is for Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, check us out, LHT Performance. On Instagram, I often put dinos up and little bits and pieces of what's going on. So we'll be recording on here too. sounds so much better the LS7 sounds terrific of course those crackles and pops I made actually a little bit more 471 and 443 that is pretty darn healthy that really is and I think a lot of it is from that X pipe but that sounds terrific so tell you what what we're gonna do is gonna do another run we're gonna plug in that fuse I want to show you what the valves do the difference right there it's actually pretty interesting. You'll see the power jump at 3,500. It's kind of like a VTEC. If you know anything about Hondas, you'll know all about the almighty VTEC. But let's go ahead and put that guy back in and we'll see what it does. All right, so fuse is back in. Let's do another run while it's nice and hot. We'll just see what it does. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. Let's see what that does with the fuse plugged in. Let's go ahead and clear this graph so when it runs, We'll be able to see that, that dyno change. So you hear how quiet it is right now with the valves closed. Super quiet. So they open at, I think, 3,200 RPMs. So you'll be able to see the change and hear the change from those valves here in a minute. that jump it's like a VTEC jump it really is so it didn't make a massive difference same kind of power 469 on that one but you can kind of see that perk in power so there is a little bit of power in that valve on the exhaust that right there is taking you into your past yeah <laughs> remember CDs that is a little bit of ancient oh oh look at that what they got in there the United States Canada East navigation data disk oh wonder what that sounds like is that rock or is it blues what well, is it usually it's blues because <laughs> it's america <laughs> that's good stuff right there you know what i have a whole bunch of dvs and nothing to play them on wow that's good stuff does it say caution do not dino yeah 